Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, I'll be doing a review of the 3D Bonza by Channel Island Surfboards. Um, the 3D Bonza I have here is a collaboration between Channel Island Surfboards and Campbell Brothers, um, and it is, I think, the Dane Reynolds kind of pro model in the Bonza. So the uh, Channel Islands and Camp Brothers have done a few collaborations together. Um, last year they brought out the Shelter, which is a bit of a performance shortboard, and they also brought out the Biscuit, which is a, a famous kind of um, older Channel Islands model. They brought out the Biscuit Bonzo, which was more of a stumpy, really high volume for small to very average waves kind of board. Um, but then when I saw this come out, pretty much excited for anything Dane does. So I thought I had to have this board, and I really want to check it out. And I hadn't ridden a, bo a Bonzo before. Um, a few years ago there was some footage of Taylor Knox surfing a Bonzo, I think out Rocky Point, and that kind of lighted something with me going, hey, I really want to check one of those things out. Some of the turns was Taylor Knox, so he does some pretty amazing turns, but some of the surfing he was doing on a board like that, it made me kind of interested um, in the Bonzo technology and how these boards work. And then when I saw that technology coupled with something Dane Reynolds was doing, well, I had to check it out. So the Bonza, 3D Bonza that I've been riding is the Stock 5.8, which is 5.8 by 19 and 5 eighths, and I think it is two and a half, and it comes in at around 29.4 liters. Um, so the Bonza, 3D Bonza outline has looked very similar, I don't know if you are familiar with a model that they brought out a while ago called the Dumpster Diver, but the outline looks fairly similar. The tail's a little bit wider, um, but it's a really kind of squashed down, kind of high performance, fun kind of um, small wave board. And I really enjoy surfing those kind of boards. And when I saw this all coupled together in this new model, it was something I had to really check out. Um, I've been riding it um, in summer in Australia for the last kind of six weeks, and we've had some pretty kind of marginal to kind of fun kind of conditions, but nothing really amazing. Um, but some of the first few surfs I've done, where I live, there's a little kind of right wedge, and it was only kind of it was only my only first few surfs. The, they had kind of an open face and it was really kind of unique how you would turn the board in the pocket. Um, it turned much different, as you can see with the Bonza setup, it turns much different to the thrusters and quads that we all generally ride right now. Um, and it, it kind of had to work out how to surf it um, in these kind of tight little pockets to get kind of that wrap turn. And the turns I was doing were very different to what I normally do. But I was saying that, I think it was probably the first surf I had this board in, might have been about my third wave or something like that. I got this little right and I pumped across and I got a section where it was like a foamy kind of close out and you normally kind of lift your nose over, tap, do like a kind of close out Rio and come off. And as I did, because these bonzers create kind of lift through the back end, you normally put weight on your tail to lift the nose out and it was almost like the tail wanted to come out and the nose wanted to go in because it was just this lift under the board that I hadn't felt before. So it was, it was really kind of a challenge to go, well, how do I adjust my surfing to fit this in? And once I did, it felt really unique and you could get that lift that gave you that pace down the line. There was a couple of waves there I wasn't quite sure, just how to turn it, but I also, I think I was getting on it thinking it was like a dumpster diver and I was trying to surf it quite aggressively, quite up and down and in the pocket, but it's not really like that. It's more of a kind of cruisy board. It wants some drawn out turns and I don't think it wants to be surfed, you know, vertically like those performance thrusters. Um, it, it wants to do a lot of the work for you, keep that kind of pace through the bonzer setup and a lot more kind of down the line surfing. Um, as you can see, the bonza on the bottom is pretty unique. So you have this bonza setup, which is the two plus one. So there's these three D bonzas and a single fin in the middle. And what you have down here is the Campbell Brothers, their unique bottom curve, which is quite a double, but a narrow concave, a narrow double concave that comes through here, and it becomes quite deep through the fins. And if you have a look through here in the back, you'll see it quite unlike anything else on the market. That is a very deep double concave throwing out the back of the tail. So mixing that concave um, through the Bonza setup gives the board like a lift and a very unique feel and a really nice feel when you're going down the line with quite a bit of pace. Uh, with the fin setup, I didn't muck around with it too much. I was chatting to the guys at Channel Islands and they were saying the placement should be that the single fin um, starts just where the Bonza ends. And I put that in to start with and I haven't mucked around with it too much. It's felt pretty good and it feels like it's the right place. I'm not sure if waves got a little bit bigger or smaller if you muck around with it. Um, bring it forward might make it feel a bit tighter and that could work if it got a little bigger. I didn't really surf a thing in over about four foot and I don't really think it's designed for much bigger than three, four foot because um, it seems to like those kind of smaller, mushier kind of, you know, little runner kind of waves. Um, but yeah, the, the fin setup felt quite well and that is the, um, the Bonza fin um, which you can get when you purchase the board.
3D Bonza is a board for almost anyone I feel, but for someone to feel the true benefits of the Bonza setup and what makes this different from your normal thruster or quad or normal kind of shortboard on the market, probably that intermediate to advanced surf will really feel those benefits and it's something they might really want to check out. But that's not saying that someone or a beginner intermediate couldn't check it out and have a lot of fun on the board. That's our review today of the 3D Bonza by Channel Islands and Campbell Brothers. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you get a chance to check out the board. It's a very unique board and hopefully something will challenge and help you enjoy your surfing. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw today, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit like. Uh, if you want to watch more of what we've got, please subscribe. And if you could, if you've got mates or someone you think might be interested as well, if you could share what we're doing, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, as well as YouTube, we're also doing a lot of stuff through our Instagram page. So check out the Surfboard Guide on Instagram, and it'll give you a chance to inter interact with us, talk about boards, and also even do a few other things beyond reviews that you may be interested in. And you'll be the first to find out about it there at the Surfboard Guide. Thanks a lot.